What's going on you guys? Welcome to another video on the channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys not one, not two, but three different ways to lace your Air Force Ones. The possibilities are endless when it comes to lacing your Air Force Ones, but today I'm going to be giving you guys my three favorite type of ways. So first way up and my favorite, we have the Lucy's. So starting off, you want to take your laces and go from the outside in. Now when you pull the lace through, you don't want to go all the way. You want to make sure you leave some room between the lace and the sneaker so go ahead and do that to the other side and remember to leave some space between the lace and the sneaker it's super important you can also take both parts of the sneaker and just you know loosen it up with your hands by gripping it from the sides then you want to take your lace to the same side and go from the inside out then you can adjust the length of your lace how long you want it to hang out me personally i don't like them too long i just think it looks a little too sloppy when you have it too long but you can do you So keep in mind when you do go with the Lucy lace that the sneaker might be a little loose on you, but that just depends on what size you have your Air Force Ones. In my opinion, when you have the Lucy lace system on your Air Force Ones, I think it looks the best with a pair of shorts. It gives off that more relaxed vibe. Definitely clutch for the summertime. I mean, you can slip these on, slip these off. You know, it's super easy. And just in case you're getting a new pair of Air Force Ones and you wanna rock that Lucy look, I would definitely recommend going a half size down just so when you have the loose laces it's not slipping off the back of your foot so like I said shorts in my opinion look best when you're rocking the loose lace match that up with a pair of mesh shorts and a band tee and you're good to go next style lace we have up I call this one the clean and pristine that way you don't have the little laces hanging out on each side of the sneaker let me show you guys so with this style here, you can leave these factory laced or if they're too tight for you, you can go ahead and loosen them up a bit. So what you want to do is remove the insole. It's glued down when you get a new pair of Air Force Ones. So you want to make sure you take that out. It can be a bit of a struggle, but it's definitely doable. Then what you want to do is grab the lace and tuck it under the insole. Trust me, you're not going to feel it when you're walking around. It's not noticeable. Then there you have it, your pair of Air Force Ones. Your laces will never show. They'll never come out. They're staying under that insole. So definitely a good look with the clean and pristine. I mean, it comes off much more, you know, mature. It looks clean. It's simple. When you're going with the clean and pristine, I like to match that up with a pair of cargo pants or a pair of denim. I think it looks best, but that still doesn't mean you can't rock the clean and pristine with the shorts. I definitely like this style a lot because when you have the laces just hanging out, it looks kind of sloppy sometimes. It does get in the way. Plus, the tips can get a bit dirty when you have them hanging all the time. With the clean and pristine, it's simple. It looks good. You got that clean side profile of the sneaker. And not like the Lucy Goosey, you know, these are going to fit sturdy on your feet. They're not going to go anywhere. So I definitely recommend this look for number two. Let's go ahead and get into the third and final lace. All right, guys. So lastly, my personal favorite we have the bow ties so as you can see from this right here they look like little bow ties up top let me just show you guys how i do this so with this lace here like the others you want to go from the outside in but with this one here you're going to go all the way to the top to the last hole once you get to the top your string should be pretty short so you can go ahead and tie that up then once you do that it looks like a little bow tie which is why i call it the bow tie method but there you have it super clean i love this one here so really simple. This looks really clean with a pair of shorts or a pair of pants, either cargo pants, sweatpants, denim, any type of pant really they look good with. It's clean, it's simple, it's not doing too much. When you wear these, they're not gonna be falling off your feet and they're also not gonna be too tight when you wear them. This is probably the cleanest looking one in my opinion, even though I know a lot of people don't like this look because you know, it's tied all the way to the top. They look like they're choked up, but in reality, they're really not. I mean, sure, they're not gonna be as loose as the others, but me personally, when I rock my sneakers, I don't like them loose at all. I like them to fit me just right. So this lace system here works for me very well. This is like that good in between if you don't like the Lucy's because they look too loose. And if you don't like the clean and pristine because they look too proper, I think this one you'll definitely mess with. And I actually really like lacing almost all my sneakers like this. I mean, the ones that I can lace like this, such as the Jordan 1. I mean, I like this lace look on most sneakers, honestly, especially the Jordan 1s. I think it looks really clean. 
but they look just as dope on the Air Force One. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. Let me know in the comments below what lace system works best for you. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a like while you're down there. It helps me out a ton. Let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see next, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>